Now, Senator Johnson... Tom, I know you're not fond of my plan to vote against the budget. Now, you know I respect your opinions, but perchance you'd spare a moment to hear out Mr. Hamilton's opinion. That's Lincoln. Lincoln is on the $5 bill. Are you trying to bribe me with $5? You drive a hard bargain, but perhaps my longtime girlfriend, Sacagawea, could persuade you. That's also Lincoln. He's on the penny as well. Are you offering me one cent for my vote? If it's a matter of numbers, then perhaps Benjamin Franklin could correct them. That's an enormous diamond. Where did you find that? Or perhaps former Canadian Prime Minister Robert Borden can sweeten the deal. I don't want Canadian money. Please! Perhaps Betsy Ross has something to say? Nope. Perhaps John C. Calhoun could lend us a hand. Yeah. Perhaps Al Capine Cone could. Yeah, that's stupid. I'm I'm sorry. Perhaps First Lady Martha Jefferson can She's help. She's not even on anymore. Perhaps Gerald Ford could offer a more fruitful gesture. This is a banana. Perhaps Gerald Ford could offer a more fruitful gesture. This is also a banana. Well, then perhaps Gerald Ford could offer a more fruitful gesture. These are just a bunch of bananas. Perhaps Richard Nixon could offer a more fruitful gesture. This is an orange. Well, orange, you glad I didn't say Gerald Ford? Perhaps General Custer could sever your head. Perhaps presidential hopeful Ross Perot could blow this deal wide open. <laughs> Perhaps Abraham Lincoln you can- You already said oh, Lincoln- no! oh, Why am I alive? May chance you be tempted by my depressive Uncle Fletcher? Life's gonna grab you by the ponytail and get you stuck in that slidey thing with all the pipes at Discovery Zone. Well, perhaps I could help bribe you. Enough! I refuse to partake in these backroom bribes! Please, Senator, have a heart. Tom, whose heart is this? Oh, Senator Johnson. Now, about that vote. Yes! <laughs> Hey, did you see that Betsy Ross? Uh, don't bother.